Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and look at this beautiful design. So today we're gonna learn how to create this awesome design but before that, watch this video. What if you have deleted your data or lost your data due to unexpected system crash and now you need it urgently for your office work or some important project report? Recover it from Wondershare can be a useful tool for you. You can easily select the drives, recycle bin or specific folder location for the lost file. It will start scanning the system for the files and after that, you can preview the files and select the required files for recovery. It's that easy. It has got some really nice features like restore data from different types of storage media, recover different types of file types and formats. You can also recover the data from the damaged hard drive. If you are a Windows or a Mac user, then you don't have to worry. It is available for both. For more information about Recover It, please click the link in the video description. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and hit the like button. By doing this, you can support us and we will be thankful to you. So coming back to the tutorial, the very first step is to create a very nice background, a gradient background and creating a gradient background is really easy and you must have seen in all of my videos I have used the gradient background a lot so it's not something which is really difficult it's very easy to create and you need to use these gradient stops so we have used four gradient stops gradient type is linear gradient angle is 45 degrees the gradient stop at the edges we have used light blue on the two stops in the middle we have used a dark blue color and we have reached this kind of gradient look now insert a circle apply gradient color make sure it has two gradient stops and use top to bottom gradient angle like this and on the second gradient stop increase the transparency to almost 90 percent like this and you can see the top part of the circle is slightly visible now duplicate it slightly increase the size and place these randomly on the slide don't overdo it only keep four to five circles in different shapes in different sizes now insert this rounded rectangle shape and apply the same effect and we will place these randomly on the slide like this. So till now what we have done is we have created a gradient background then we have created a gradient circle whose top part is transparent and then we used these rounded rectangles we applied the same gradient color to these rounded rectangles and we have spread these and placed these throughout the slide randomly make sure these are evenly distributed so that slide looks balanced from every angle now insert this triangle let's add some patterns here so you can try different pattern designs make sure the lines are thin on the pattern don't use thick patterns a thin pattern will look good here and follow the same color scheme while creating the pattern so this design if you look at if you look at it it will look like a very complex design and it gives a sense like uh, this is really you know uh, impossible to create for a beginner in powerpoint or a new user but trust me it's very easy you can see yourself yeah. 
also this design is not limited to games or some you know um, some child uh, some children some kids related products you can use it for any for any subject so this design signifies structure a solid foundation so that's what it means it means concrete solid so now place this rectangular shape in, in the middle and we want to do something fancy here so we will create a pattern here like this we have inserted these five rectangular shapes like this group these together and place it like this the idea here is to subtract the grouped shape from the rectangle that we have created So I am figuring out how to place these at the corners. Now ungroup and subtract. Here we also ungroup it, select all and then union. Ungroup. Let's adjust these so that a different kind of pattern will appear. And now we have created an union. Now we will subtract it from the main rectangle like this. And now you can see a really nice effect is coming out. Now what we need to do is we need to design this center part and here we will place the text so that's the whole idea before that i am adjusting the size and placement of the background items Now everything is in place and the next step what we will do is we will create some metallic shapes and this time the color we will use on the metal is blue so blue metallic shapes we will place on the top left and bottom right corner of this rectangle You need at least six to seven gradient stops to create a metallic effect. So here you need to use a combination of dark and light blues to create a metallic effect on this shape. Let's increase its length and reduce its height and place it like this. Now duplicate it and place one at the bottom right. Now we need to create a text placeholder and that's the most beautiful part of this presentation slide so now we need to add a text placeholder here for that you need to insert another rectangle like this remove its outline and we have applied white color but I don't think white will look good here or you can use it but dark will look much better if you use dark blue or some dark blue uh, and light blue gradient color so 
that way it will look much better but let's try with white first after that place a circle like this so we have placed two rectangles we had duplicated it now subtract it from this circle and you will get a shape like this so this creates a very nice reflection effect i think i'm not satisfied with the white color that's why i'm not i'm not getting the kind of look that is required here let's try to write some text here let's see if it looks nice so we have written creative venus so we have increased the character spacing aligned it center apply white color let's use dark color here i'm done with the white look at this isn't it looking good so this is what is required here a dark color so i was right now it looks much better and look at this glass effect and it's it looks really glossy and that shine is really really like shining at the moment so now this design is almost complete and we need to hit the final nail in it but before that let's add some text here some dummy text a description can be added here so so for the text part what you can do is you can write anything you want here it could be some facts some stats some process related points a workflow it could be an agenda slide it could be a title slide as well but you need to add a logo so it totally it totally depends how you want to use it but this is a multi-purpose slide i know most people uh, will not agree with my point here they will say that it's it's a very you know texture based slide and it's more creative but trust me it will go with any slide any topic and you can use it freely you don't have to worry about it so i'm using here forte font and it's a very nice designer font so let's place it at the center and we have moved the creative Venus at the top let's do one more thing we have used flat color in this rectangle let's use a gradient like this we need to change the color here let's first try the purple purple is looking good but not great go back to blue trying purple for the last time i don't know why it's still it's still not coming out nicely I think we need to stick with light blue here so our design is complete so please subscribe to our channel join the membership if you will become the member of our channel that way you will support us and it will be great motivation and achievement for us and we will create more such beautiful videos also do not forget to share this video with your friends colleagues within your college or office so this will also give it more visibility so thank you everyone have a nice day peace if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section below